and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Life. Alright, so in this episode, the, pretty much the plan is just going to be taking care of a lot of crafting goals and challenges. And to start getting some of these quests done, because we're actually really close to buying that second house. Alright, so what do I actually have to make? Right now I'm at a uh, carp- actually wait, I am a carpenter at the moment, right? Pretty sure I remember to switch over. Yep, we're a carpenter. Alright, so let me see, what do we actually have to make as a carpenter? We need to make a barrel, I remember that. We need to make... We did... No, we did not do this one. We don't have the iron yet. Uh, let's see... Where is it? Okay, we need to make a pine bow. I think I can make that. That's tailoring. That's a lot of money. Ooh, that might be worth making. Or at least trying. Good quality mules. Top quality... Okay, yeah, we need to make a barrel... And a bow. I think that's all we can make through carp- Yeah, that's all we can make through carpentry. And we need to turn this in at some point. Alright, let's see if we can make anything good. Also, we- Do we have any challenges that we haven't done yet? Oh yeah, we do have a lot of challenges that we didn't turn in yet. Whoops. I really should remember to do those. Also, you have nothing new for me, right? No, okay. I'm pretty sure he never ha- He might have something new for me at some point. Actually, yeah, let me see. Do you have anything else new for me? Okay, it's just general advice at this point. Yeah, I think it's all just general advice from him. Alright. So let's try crafting. I'm pretty sure we can start working. We can work with pine at the moment, right? Uh, let me see. Yep, we can work with pine. And palm. Alright, so what do we need to make that oak, or not oak, uh, pine bow. Silk, animal hide, we just need more palm. Yeah, we just need more palm beams. Oh wait, no. We need to make a pine bow, not a palm bow, right? Actually, let me check that again. I want to make sure I'm not making the wrong thing. Pine bow. Okay, they want a pine bow. Also, what kind of wand am I using at the moment? I am using a palm wand. Okay. Gotta keep those two straight, because they sound really similar. So let's make a pine bow. What do I need to make a pine bow? Do I just need more pine? I need straw thread, apparently. Where do I get- Oh, I might have to use tailoring to get that. Straw thread. One second. I'm just gonna go grab that real quick, then. Yeah, I think that's something a tailor can make. Or I might have to buy it. Yeah, I might have to buy th uh, thread in that case. Okay, that should, that should be pretty cheap, though. Also, while I'm here, can I make... I cannot make those shoes yet. I have to work on my uh, tailoring at some point, too. Alright. Let's go get that thread, then. Fortunately, the shops are, like, right outside the crafting stations in this town, which is why it's usually my favorite to craft in. It's not a very long walk to get what you need. Alright, so let me see here. I think you're the one who sells it. Straw thread. There it is. Still? Surprised we can't just make this ourselves. Let's get ten of them. We're probably gonna need some more later. And it's only a hundred dosh for that. And fortunately our SP doesn't really matter when it comes to crafting. It doesn't burn the SP or anything. Alright, now that we finally have all the things I need, let's make that pine bow, and hopefully it turns out good. It should turn out pretty good. As long as we're careful and don't screw up too much. Just gotta be careful and not accidentally screw this up. All I required was hammering and sawing, surprisingly. There we go. Alright, hopefully that turned out good. Did we need good or great quality? 
I'm hoping we only need a good, because I only made a good quality one. Let me see. If not, I'll have to make some more pine. We can always just sell the spare ones we have. Uh, where is it? Nope, not that one. Oh, it might, I might have needed a great one. Great. Ah, I need to make a great one. Okay, we'll try that again. Actually, do I have any food that will boost my... What does this use again? Strength? Yeah, strength. Do I have any strength boosting foods? Let me see. I have a lot of food. Dexterity and focus. Ooh, luck might actually be a good one to raise. Wow, I really... Oh, no, I do. I winter stew. Strength, oh, actually that's perfect. Strength and luck will help me get a, good, a great quality one. Okay, let's try this again. First things first, we do need more pine. So let's make a few, can I make these in bulk yet? Yes, I can. Oh, did I ask, ah, uh, whatever. Oh, whoop, whoops. Yeah, I accidentally only made one. Well, that's fine. Usually I get spares anyways. Because I canceled out instead of confirming. Uh, did I get any extras? Yeah, I got three. Okay, that works. Alright, let's try making a great one this time. If it doesn't work... I still have some more pine I can work with, so it's not the end of the world. But I believe, I believe this one will turn out great. Hopefully that food helped a little bit. Alright, come on. I did perfect that time. Did it. Okay, good. So we can turn that in later. Alright, what else do we need to make? Uh, what furniture can I make? Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally picked Mc item again instead of looking at my challenges. Let me see here. So what else do we need to make? Uh, oak bow, oak axe. Okay, yeah, we just need to make a bunch of oak stuff apparently. Pine rod. We made a pine wand already. Yeah, we just need to make a bunch of... What is this? Patch hole. Oh, it's furniture. Okay. That's like one of those things you put over a hole in the wall. We did that. Pine saw. Ooh, that might actually be worth it, honestly. Pine... Or palm beams. Port chair. Por okay, yeah, we just need to make a bunch of furniture. Let's make a bunch of furniture. All right, what do I actually need for all these? Probably a lot of wood. Yeah, I need oak beams for that. Iron, I need iron. Yeah, we just need to get a bunch of iron, apparently. Palm. Actually, yeah, I can make that once I have the palm. Yeah, all these are just require palm beams. Let's make a bunch of palm beams, then. I don't think I can make these in bulk yet, though. So I'll have to do them one at a time. And since it's a beam, I don't really care about the quality, because I don't think you can get good quality beams. They're always just a default quality. There we go. I made a palm beam. And I made three extra. Let's keep making them. Oops. Eventually, we can start doing this automatically instead of do it ourselves, but right now, we're not good enough to do that. One day, we will be. Also, I don't know why this beam needs so many nails. Am I good enough? I can't make this in bulk now. Alright, let's make a bunch of them then, because there is no point in just... Uh, what is it? And just holding on to these, this wood, without turning it into beams. 
So let's go all the way, make six of them. Confirm, and begin. I forget if you can get spears from this, though. I think you can. I think in total you might get more if you just do it one at a time, because each one you have a higher chance of getting uh, some spares. But this is a lot faster, and it doesn't require me to do the same minigame over and over and over again. Anyways, we have a lot of palm beams now. Yeah, we only got nine total. Probably would have gotten more if we made them one at a time. Oh well. We can always get more palm, uh, was it? More palm logs later. All right, what can we make? A palm saw would be awesome, but I need iron. I need sunny cotton for that, silver for that. Wow. Yeah, I need a lot of metal. More importantly, can I make any good furniture? Oh wait. What do I need for a patched hole? I'm missing an oak beam. I might try making that later, because that is one of my challenges. For some reason. Alright, let's make a chair. I don't really care about the quality about for this one too much. This one I'm probably just gonna keep at this point. Because I do need furniture to actually furnish my house at some or we could just leave it unfurnished and sell the furniture for money. Just like in real life. Whoops. Yeah, this one isn't going to come out too well. That That's fine, as long as it just comes out. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that's a great quality chair, apparently. Okay. I'm just going to accept that, whatever. Also, yeah, let's quickly make an oak beam real quick. Because with this, we can make a patch hole, which is another one of my challenges. Oh, uh, what else can we make after this? And then we'll just see what other, uh, was it, beach furniture we can make. There we go. We're getting better at this. Maybe I should also start putting some points into strength instead of everything into intelligence. The problem with intelligence is that the only crafting that scales off it is, in fact, uh, alchemy. Everything else requires every other stat. Alright, but now we can make a patched hole. Let's make that real quick. Maybe we'll stick this on the wall. I am not very good at that today. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's a good quality patched hole too. We're not gonna half-ass our hole in the wall. Alright, uh, what else can we make at the moment? I'm just gonna make a couple more things and then we'll get out of here. Ooh, a wardrobe. Where did I get moon clusters from? Oh, it might have been from monsters in the uh, desert. Yeah, I'm also going to need to grind some palm. Maybe off screen I'll do some material grinding. Yeah, I might just do a bunch of material grinding off screen. For now though, let's just make everything we can. Because I'm going to need a lot of wood and a lot of metal. Actually, later we might want to go see if we can turn... Okay, yeah, I... My stats are, uh... My low strength is starting to catch up to me. But yeah, like I was saying, maybe we'll go see if we can turn in our... Miner and our Woodcutter uh, challenges. See if we can get anything new from those. This one's gonna turn out okay, right? Still good quality. I still have no idea why I'm getting so many good quality stuff. Maybe my luck is surprisingly high. Anyways, we're gonna make one more thing before we go. Actually, do I have the wood to make one more thing? I do have the wood to make one more thing. Actually, I think I have the wood to make two more things. Six. Yeah, I have the wood to make two more things. Let's make two more things. Whoop. That's fine. This one is surprisingly easy, easy to make compared to the last one. Oh, 
The wardrobe is probably going to take a lot of effort to make, though. That one's a pretty big one. And it's a great quality one. Man, if we sold all this, we would make so much money. Still tempted to just sell all the furniture I have for money. I mean, you can always get more furniture, but can you always get more money? Yes. Because you usually need one to get the other. That one was really easy for some reason. I don't know why the first one was so hard to make. It's- oh my god. That is a top quality item. I am getting better at carpentry. Let's turn those ch I might just sell that wardrobe then. That is a top quality item. That means it's gonna sell for quite a bit. Not enough to level up though, but that's fine. I didn't expect to level up yet. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, yeah, let me just go see how much that sells for. I think we can just sell it anywhere. Or we might have to go to the furniture shop to sell it, but yeah. How much would that top quality dresser I just got, uh, so will sell for? 50... 5400 dosh, not bad. Do I want to sell it? You know what, sure, why not? Money's money. Alright, with that I should have enough actually after a couple more quest turn-ins. Let's go buy a house. That being said, to actually get to Port Porto, we're going to need to take the airship. Because we don't have a house yet, so we can't just warp there. So let me see, we can turn in that bow, and then we can turn in the uh, serpent quest. What else do we need to do? And I think that should be it. That'll be enough to get myself a new house. And then I can just go there anytime I want instead of having to take the airship every single time. Or walking. Oh, I'm excited to get my second house. And I actually have furniture to furnish it with now. Or I could sell it for more- Ah, no, no, no. I need to save my furniture. I don't want to live in a barren house. Okay, I'm not going to actually live there. It's going to be a glorified warp point, but still. An empty house would just suck. We don't even have a bed for it yet. Maybe I'll make one at some point. Alright, so let's go find these quest givers. You're the one who wanted the bow. No, you're the one who wanted the barrel. Who was it that wanted the bow? Uh, are they to the north of us? Yeah, they're to the north. Okay. Let's just run over there real quick and turn it in. Was it you? No, you have a new quest for me, actually. Okay, do you want me to find you some flowers? Five running flowers. Okay. Bombs and... Tw uh, Not the best reward, but I'll do it. Or at least I'll pick it up for now and probably completely forget about it. You wanted fish, didn't you? Oh no, you wanted the bow. That's right. Sure, cat. Where is a cat? Oh, hey, moss. Where does a cat get this much money? Well, whatever. 2,500 do 2, dosh is money. Oh, wait. Is that enough? No. I need 400 more. Yeah, let's go turn in that uh, serpent quest then. They should be right in front of town. Then we'll run back, grab that house, Go turn in our woodcutter and our miner jobs. And then, yeah, in between episodes, I think I'm just going to do a bit of grinding to get the materials I need. We'll make a few more things next time, and then we'll finish up Butterfly's request, too, while we're at it. And then after that, we should be ready to move on with the main story. And if I raise a bit more money, I might just stop by Almagique for a bit to, uh... Buy some new equipment for myself. Unless I can get woodcutter up to ne the next level... We might be able to start making ourselves a new wand. We'll see. Also, yeah, where is this guy again? Yeah, he's in this area. Oh, he might be in the uh, camp to the south. 
Unless we ran past them and I just didn't notice. That might also be a thing. Oh, right. While we're here, there are more radishes for us to kill. One second. Wait, what? I have no SP. Right, I forgot. That's the consequence of running everywhere. That's fine. But yeah, I think he was in the camp right over here. Are there more radishes? No, those are frogs. I don't want to slay frogs at the moment. No one's paying me to. Uh... I don't see they... Oh wait, that might be it. Yep, there we go. And we got some high HP potions. Yeah, I really should be working on alchemy too. But potions aren't super important. Unless we're taking on, like, big bosses. Then they're pretty important. Alright, there we go. We have the money. Let's go buy ourselves some free real estate. That doesn't make any sense. If you have to buy it, it's not free. By definition. Let's go get ourselves some real estate. Also, yeah, I guess running everywhere, everywhere does help build up my running skill. And while we're in town, it really doesn't matter if we run out of SP. There's nothing in town that requires SP for the most part. We won't get into, like, random fights in the middle of nowhere. Okay, but yeah, we have the money. Let's go finally get ourselves that second house. And then time to save up for our third house. That one's gonna be not very fun, because that's 100,000 dosh. Then again, these jobs are starting to pay pretty well, so that might not be too bad. Anyways, I am back. Five thousand, five or fifty thousand dosh? It's a deal. I'm poor now. But now we have a holiday home. Oh, let's go take a look inside. It's going I think it's pretty much the exact same as our normal house. Yep. Oh, but it's ours. It's also actually smaller than our normal house, but that's fine. So let's put down some furniture real quick while I'm here. Oh, maybe I should move the Olivia picture here. Whatever. I'm gonna make it look at a pirate ship. Alright, so that's all the wall stuff I can put down. Put a nice cabinet next to the window with a nice house plant. Uh, dining table can go in the center. Put a chair next to it. And a box in the corner, because why not? It's a holiday home. I'm not going to actually sleep here. Alright, pretty nice. Awesome. So now we can just go to Port Porto for free. Which is fine with me. Because travel costs do actually start adding up over time. Alright, so... So yeah, whenever we go home, now we have the chance to go to our Port Porto home. Anyways, I'm going to travel to the guild office real quick, switch over to Woodcutter, turn those in, and then switch over to Miner and to turn those in. And then I'm probably going to take Miner out to get some iron in between episodes, like I said. Alright, so Woodcutter. Alright, then we're going to warp to our master location, who... I haven't done this for so long, I forgot where our master is located. That's right, he lives here. I completely forgot you existed. Also, I think that's enough to get me a- yep, that's enough to get me promoted. I'm getting better at woodcutting. And we learned how to do the axe chopper. Also, yeah, let me just get rid of these real quick. Okay, no, it's just, it's always advice with these guys. Alright, I'll get rid of them on my own time. I wonder if we have enough to also level up Miner. We have been doing a lot of mining lately. Also, if we're good enough Miner, we might finally be able to get Alchemy. Or Alchemy, uh, Alchem... Amethyst. We might be able to get Amethyst for that one job. Quest. Uh, where is Miner? There's Miner. Actually, maybe not. I don't think we've gotten enough iron to really turn this one, or level this one up yet. Yeah, I guess we did do a lot of wood cutting, but not a ton of mining, relatively speaking. Also, we saw your brother. 
Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna clear these out real quick so it stops bothering me. Yep, I know this. That's literally the first thing you taught me. Yeah, we already know about charge attacks. Alright. Let's report in. Yeah, I need to do more mining. That's fine. We'll work on- I'll work on this. Anyways, with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Fantasy Life, we're gonna do a bit more crafting, and then after that, we'll do all of Butterfly's remaining requests. What do we still need to do for her again? We need to go to the library, and we need to go talk to the uh, old Dark Sultan. Okay. And I guess while we're there, we can also try to buy some new equipment for myself if I can't make better ones, but we'll see. So, till then.